Welcome to the prayer channel. Today we are looking at the Proverbs 31 woman, a very famous scripture which shows us the virtues of being a woman who is after God's own heart. It reads, the words of King Lemuel, the utterance which his mother taught him. What my son, and what son of my womb, and what son of my vows? Do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel. It is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes intoxicating drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the justice of all the afflicted. Give strong drink to him who is perishing and a wine to those who are bitter of heart. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Open your mouth for the speechless in the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. The Virtuous Wife Who can find a virtuous wife? For her worth is far above rubies. The heart of her husband safely trusts her, so she will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and willingly works with her hands. She is like the merchant ships. She brings her food from afar. She also rises while it is yet night and provides food for her household and a portion for her maidservants. She considers a field and buys it. From her profit, she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with strength and strengthens her arms. She perceives that her merchandise is good and her lamp does not go out by night. She stretches out her hands to the distaff and her hand holds the spindle. She extends her hand to the poor, yet she reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household is clothed with scarlet. She makes tapestry for herself. Her clothing is fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates when he sits among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them and supplies sashes for the merchants. Strength and honor are her clothing. She shall rejoice in time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the law of kindness. She watches over the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Lord, we thank you for what this scripture teaches us about what it is to be a godly wife. And Lord, for those of us who are wives and those of us who aspire to be wives at the right time, Lord, we just pray that everything we hear and everything we've read here, Lord, would go deep into our hearts. Lord, we thank you that we are doing away with all human valuation of life. Everything that we've learned, Lord, we thank you that it is done away in this scripture, Lord, because you said this virtuous wife is far above anything that we could measure on the earth in values terms, in terms of rubies. So, Lord, we just thank you that you are calling us to do away with all the things that we've put on our minds or put in our minds about what a woman should be like, Lord. A virtuous wife is far above anything the world can measure her on. She has a standard that is only attainable by knowing you. And so, Lord, we thank you for the wisdom that a virtuous wife carries. And Lord, we pray, Lord, that we too would have that wisdom. Lord, we thank you for the relationship, Lord, that a virtuous wife is supposed to have with her husband, Lord, who is supposed to safely trust her and who has no lack because of his wife. Lord, we thank you that as a godly wife, as a godly woman, Lord, we will seek to do good and not evil all the days of our lives, Lord, not only to those who we are, in relationship with Lord like our husband and our children but also to those around us to our friends to our families to our wider community Lord would we do good and not evil all the days of our lives and this also goes for men as well Lord would we all choose to do good and not evil Lord we thank you that as we read about the Proverbs 31 woman Lord that she is enterprising and she is good at working with her hands and at bringing in an income and at 
also making sure her household is in order. Lord, it says that she provides food for her household at the same time as willingly working with her hands and planting vineyards and buying fields, Lord. And her merchandise is good. Oh Lord, we, we, we desire the same in our own lives, Lord. Would you help us, Lord, where we have business ideas, where we are striving or seeking to make better of our lives, Lord. Would you help us and show us the way forward, show us how, show us our route to success because Lord we know you hold success in your hands so Lord would you show us would you open our eyes and our minds to understand what it is like to honor you and to hear from you and to be given gleaning information that helps us to do amazing things that we didn't think possible we also thank you Lord for the goodness of this woman Lord she extends her hands to the poor. She reaches out to the needy. Lord, these are attributes that you've spoken so clearly about throughout the book of Proverbs, that we should not turn our eyes away from those who are suffering, away from those who are poor, but instead, Lord, we should do the opposite. Lord, we should come in and help as much as we can. Lord, we should be that change that they need. We should be that helping hand that they need, Lord. So help us to do that. Help us to be convicted enough Lord, to not walk past when we see people who are struggling. Lord, we thank you for the royalty that is embodied in this woman. Her clothing is like fine linen and purple, royal colours, royal materials which speak of her royalty before you. Lord, would we be queens and kings before you today? Lord, would we embrace the royal position that you've given each of us? Lord, would we walk in that royalty and walk in that assurance that you have crowned us and we as a result of knowing you have been crowned by our heavenly father with a heavenly crown lord wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding kindness blessings honor praises lord all these values and virtues lord would you just pour them out over us today. Lord, would we be like this Proverbs 31 woman? Lord, would we not be idle? Lord, would we watch over our households, over the districts and the jurisdictions that you've already given us? Lord, would we embody and embrace and enjoy taking care of what you've given us, Lord? Help us, help us, Lord. And Lord, for our families, for our children, we pray a special blessing. We pray, Lord, that you would pour out your spirit over our families, over our children. Would they know you like we know you? Would they desire you like we desire you? Would they not be caught up in the deception of the world? Instead, by being raised correctly, Lord, would they know you? Lord, you said raise up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they would not depart from it. And so, Lord, that's what we pray here. We pray that for our own lives. And we thank you that you're showing us that that is what happens. That's what happened to this Proverbs 31 woman. Lord, her children rose up and called her blessed and her husband praised her for excelling far above all others. Lord, we understand that in our society, beauty and charm are characteristics that many aspire to create, even if it's not by natural means. But Lord, we pray that we would honor our natural beauty and we would enhance what we have naturally and we would enjoy being beautiful before you, just like this Proverbs 31 woman. She was beautiful before you, not necessarily for her physical look, but because of what was in her heart, what was in her mind, what was in her life. Her life spoke beauty. So Lord, help us to look for the beauty of being children that honor you and follow you. That's where true beauty comes from. Lord, would we fear you? Lord, would we praise you? Lord, would we give you the fruit of our hands? And Lord, would we be praised in our communities and around our friends and family, not for what we are, 
or what we've done, but for who we know. Lord, would we be praised because we know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he is in control of our days, our moments, our future. Lord, we just honor you today. We thank you for this beautiful scripture, and we thank you that it teaches us so much about what you deem to be important it's almost countercultural, but that's fine, Lord, because we know that you are a God that is out of this world. Lord, you are beyond. You are beyond our world, our understanding, our universe, Lord. Lord, you sit above all things and you watch all things and you control all things. And so, Lord, we just look to you for a glimpse of the goodness that you embody, Lord, and we pray, Lord, that you would help us, Lord, to walk in your will and your way and to embody that goodness in our own lives and pour it out to those around us also. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your blessing. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your teaching, your instruction and your rebuke. Thank you for creating us and thank you for calling us to fulfill our purposes in you. In Jesus' name we've prayed, amen.